Hello friends, welcome to the Inspire Kids STEAM Explorers Club. My name is Scientist Quest and I'm here to take you through the ways you can effectively run a STEAM club in your school. Make it exciting for the kids as a facilitator. Point out the learning objectives for each contact session you would have with the kids. You can see our previous contact session where we talked about, uh, we were focusing on st STEM jobs, that's an acronym for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. This is a new field, and there are several Im jobs emerging now, and we just want to expose the children to, you know, jobs outside the regular ones that they know. And today, we're, our focus is uh, a rocket scientist. Now, who is a rocket scientist? Somebody who designs and builds rockets, and rockets are vehicles or uh, yeah, vehicles that are thrust from Earth into outer space. So the children would design and build a chemical rocket. So um, as a facilitator, to make the um, class exciting and memorable so the children are able to retain facts, you could start with a story explaining the history of rockets, how rockets started about 800 years ago by the Chinese. They were made to propel missiles into the air for war for wartime. So you could start with that and that picks the child's interest and he wants to know more. There'll be a video in the description that explains how rockets in, in a very short uh, and simple manner, how rockets are, uh, take off from the earth and how astronauts work. So that you could play in your science class before you begin to excite the Just children. explain the different parts of a rocket. So we have this um, small model foam rocket. So you explain that this is the nose cone, you know, the, 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 co the nose cone and the fins and the fuselage. So basically these are the um, basic parts of a rocket. So when you start with the kids like this, they, it drives them to go and re research themselves and they come back with, with content and information that you would surprise even you. So it's your job to inspire them, not to give them all the information. Just inspire them, make them want to know more. That's the, that is the essence of the inquiry-based learning. I'm telling you what we'll need for the class. Usually um, uh, the children work in groups, but for this one, we had the children working individually, each person launching their own rocket. So basically we're looking at um, the rocket which you can see we've made so it just consists of a clear bottle the nose cone and the fins okay so that's one then we would need um tissue little squares of tissue paper like this let me open it so you can see you see that so we're going to need a spoon we're going to need the uh, i'll call this the fuel and uh, the fuselage and of course the um cover right so this is the body of the rocket this contains the fuel and of course the fuel we're going to be using is a chemical reaction we're going to be using vinegar and baking soda to create enough pressure inside the the um, rocket body which is this bottle that will allow it to launch upwards we're ready to launch our rockets now this is a very exciting part for the kids and we'll need a funnel okay so we're going to start with loading the um this is there's a cavity here and there's a rubber stopper okay now the cavity is for the baking soda right so the baking soda we put in this cavity we can use a funnel you could fill up the cavity or almost fill it up you can see You can see that the baking soda is in that cavity. Now we'll cover the baking soda, uh, the cavity with a piece of tissue and use the ring cover to, to hold the tissue down. So this is how it looks, okay? So now we just, you can trim off the edges of this. Now the baking soda is right inside and sealed in by the tissue. So this allows for when you put the um, vinegar and you, put this over 
the vinegar is not having immediate contact with the um, baking soda to create the chemical re reaction. So we need that time where the pressure builds up in this um, container. So we're going to pour some vinegar. Now we need white vinegar for this, which you can get in the shops. It's quite cheap. You can get a bottle for like 200 at Naira. A 750 bottle. So um, this, we now push right into this. Now you can see we're almost ready for lunch. Okay, so um, usually in class, when the kids get to this stage, everybody is waiting because we want them to all launch at the same time. So everybody's waiting with their rockets in place. So the next step is to shake, then place on the table. And please don't forget to put your safety glasses on. Did you see that? Please, please remember the safety glasses. Every child should have one on because of the splash to protect their eyes. We don't want anybody saying, oh, that um, the liquid splashed in the eyes because you can see there was an explosion that dro um, drove the uh, bottle, which is the, the rocket body up into, usually it would even hit the roof. So at the same time, everybody's rocket is popping and you could also pick, you know, the best or the person's own that, the child's rocket that, you know, went the highest. And you're going to also experience failed launches. You need to explain to the children that that means there's something wrong with your design. So that explanation means that they have to go back to the drawing board. So that's how they know that scientists work. Okay, they begin to understand that you need to keep testing and testing until you get it right. It doesn't mean that because you failed the first time, you are a failure. Okay, so those are the things you need to be pointing out as the children are working so that they begin to pick up the attitudes, the scientific attitudes, which are perseverance, the attitude of patience, the attitude of group work, teamwork, working as a team. Those attitudes, they'll pick it up as they're working. Yes, and for the safety glasses, you can purchase them in our shop. you find the link in the description so that you can uh, have enough for your kids. Every child should have one. So you could also see videos of some of our schools where we did this experiment. I hope you enjoyed it. And I want you to also post, if you can, on our Facebook page, your own videos. From Exclusive from Solo Clip. Angie. The real, the real, you fake me, you're